Hey guys, um, I just want to show you, I got a, a radial arm saw thing, and I've been working with it, trying to figure out how to do it, or how to make things with it, so I don't recommend doing this inside your home, like I'm about to do, but I got it set up between this blade here and this board, it's like three eighths of an inch. And I got a board here. I'm going to cut little 3 8 um, board things. I'll show you. I already did some of them. And they're pretty neat little things. I want to make some uh, picture frames. I'm gonna, I got another board in my bathroom uh, that I'm going to use to actually do it. But this here is basically just trial runs. Make sure this is pretty consistent. Because they're not square. But I'm making little 3 8 by 3 8 uh, little things. And then I can like butt them together. Since they're skinny enough or small enough. And make little picture frames or boxes or whatever i'm just learning um i did cut some stuff like at an angle you know like 45 degree angle flat 45s like you know like this eventually i want to get the little 45s where i could do it this way that way i can make them butt up real nice so uh let me plug it in and i'll cut once or twice i'm not sure how many times if it's because this board here is the same as white as this and i can get four of them out of it four good ones i got two push blocks here that i made well this one here I accidentally made. It was just part of my scrap. It works pretty good for like holding down here at the end. And this one here is what I use to hold this. Of course, I'm not going to turn it on until I move my foot. But I can like hold on to it like this while I work the thing where to go up and down. Um... Yeah, I don't have nothing high enough where I can set y'all. I'll just have to show you. Right up here is the uh, lever that I got to turn that makes this whole thing go up and down. So, alright, let me get readjusted. That way I can do this. Trying to stay out of you guys' way. Okay, yeah. This is how I'm going to do it. I just make sure... Make sure it's down up here. Hold it here. I'll turn it on. Make a pass. And when I get back here, it'll drop even more because I... I don't know why but this thing is weird so I'll start out here that way it can't run away and mess anything up and then I'll reach up I'll make one or two turns with the little thing up at the top and I do that slowly and it makes a real clean cut doing it that way right clean enough you don't need sandpaper Make sure it's square. Okay. Now just hold some pressure. Alright, here we go. Noise alert. It's squilly too.
just like that. One is cut. And I'll, yeah, I guess I can make one more. There's one. Now I gotta go back up with the thing so I can get this underneath the blade. There we go. Now reposition it. Get your holder. I'm calling it a holder because I just hold it. I hold the pressure that way, but also with the just the slightest bit of pressure that way. So when it goes to cut, it ain't going to pinch the blade or cause this stuff to shoot out. That would be a very bad day. These things spin real fast, so it, it'll send the piece to the moon. Might need to go up just a little bit more. Yep, there we go. Okay. Yeah, I could do that. Oh, it's better on me. Okay, here we go. Nice, quick, simple. I made the jig. It took me almost an hour just to get this where the arms, these things will come out, you know, decently straight, like when you look down them. And to get this straight with this, because I had to make the board, this little setup here, the things, because the blades were hitting the little metal uh, bills. So, yeah, I figured to show you guys, uh, yeah, screw it, I'll make one more. I'll make one more and then I'll cut them in half like I was doing, which I'll show you that. This thing does have a, um, a lock on where it can't go up and down which i just leave it loose because i need it to go up and down while i'm doing this okay. get your push block or holder okay y'all can see me holding it all right all right, here we go. Another round. of them let's see if I can orientate it right just like that so you got the three now I could probably get another one out of this but for now we're gonna do that I'll take one uh, oh crap I took my little block apart I had a little block where I can measure these in half because I was going to make it where I can produce them pretty quick but we'll just take a pin as soon as I remember where I set it where did I put it found it alright so now 
we're going to measure in half or get the halfway point. Okay, that's the same. So it's eight and just one little niche. And I really hope my damn brother-in-law don't come in here talking to himself. I'm going to pause real quick. Okay, uh, I put them, I marked it where it's middle. Then now I'll hold them, I'll level them out on one side. Oh, and I marked the wrong side, didn't I? Oh, you idiot. Hang on, just give me a second. Okay, now I gotta get my square again, which I just used my little speed square. Okay, now I got it marked on the right spot. Now, even them out <coughs> like they were when it was one whole piece which I probably should have done this before which now that I'm thinking of it I probably will and then right back here I do something really stupid which I'm about to show you how to do something really stupid and just throw my camera around uh, hang on Okay, let's try this again. Since the blade is all the way down, what I do, and let me re-even these. Now, I can get up here and get it right where I want it. And then cut it, which I think these boards moved. Yes, they did. only did the two on the other one made it where I could do this without getting my hand too darn close like that oh y'all can't even see uh, see if I could do this without being too idiotic okay y'all can see Right, back it up just I'll just start out here all right here we go and just like that you got six so of course it's going to take a little bit of fine-tuning to make sure everything is perfect and everything come out even in what I'm going to consider square. I can go through and, you know, really mark everything and make everything square and build a whole new setup so everything's perfect. But, like, this part here, I don't think this is square with this. Well, actually, let's just run a thing and check. We'll see how square dead nuts. I mean that. I mean that's like dead nuts. Huh. Okay. I did something right. So, I'm going to put my two blocks back up. Okay. I got my two push rods put back where they go, which is on top of this. And if you're wondering why there's a bunch of wood right here, it's because I needed to extend my table out. I had it shimmed up. Well, I thought I did until I figured out the little push block and or the hold, the thing I use to hold the board. When I figured out that trick, I didn't really need these, but it does keep me from going down too far uh, with the the part that comes way out here but anywho's uh 
yeah and this is my new one i just got it it's a ryobi come on a it's a ryobi and it's a radial arm saw so yeah it's old school the little things here it does work i can turn them which i did do a couple of test cuts right there at the 45 degree angle there's some numbers up here that you could barely see so i had to yeah see i had to take off some of them so i could see the 45 and then this here i need to put some new paint on it and same with back air on the part that makes this go sideways and yeah uh, right back air anywho <clears throat> yeah so let me know what you think about the radio alarm thing not what i was doing there because that was idiotic on how i'm doing this but like i tell everybody do what you got to do anywho um let me know what you think like comment subscribe till next time stay weird